Hey guys, it's Mike at youarethepath.com. Just wanted you see to see this. I don't know what works for you, but what works for me is to play my part like like I said in the week. And then when you do what you feel like you gotta do in the week on the weekend you can just be so so it's not always do 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 sometimes you gotta take time to just be but if you're taking care of the things that you believe you need to take care of in order to be your true self if you're doing that when you get those opportunities to just be, there's no chatter in your head. Because when you're not fulfilling your potential, you're always going to have that nagging voice in your head saying, you should have done this, you should have done that, why aren't you doing this, when are you going to do it, when am I going to do it, when am I going to get myself together? And just do it. And that's one of the payoffs through taking action. So I've been taking action. What I've really been doing is trusting myself, trusting my intuition. I had an intuition that if I woke up early and did candle focus and went to the library, I'd be happier. And I'm starting to see the result of that now, much calmer. I feel like I can just be for the weekend, get deeper into my spiritual practices on the weekend, and then do the other creative work in the week. So, it, it's getting the, you see, and then this weekend's like a reward. But when you're not doing it, there's a restlessness about me. It's like I don't even appreciate a simple thing like walking in the woods when I'm not handling what I believe I need to handle to fulfill my destiny and to fulfill my... to be who I am. <laughs> to to the fullest, you know? Hope you got something from that. Catch you later, guys. Peace.